consider the case of human beings. Evolutionists say humans came from apes. For years, some scientists tried to pass off certain fossil discoveries as the missing link between the two species. The problem is, every last case was shown to be either a fraud or an error. Darwin's answer is that we and modern apes have evolved from some common ape-like ancestor uh, millions of years in the past. Dr. Donald Johansson, director of the Institute of Human Origins at Arizona State University, discovered Lucy, an alleged ape-to-man missing link. Here's what Dr. Johansson said in a NOVA program on PBS. I was headed back to my Land Rover. It was about noontime and I was going to uh, drive back to camp. And uh, I just happened to look over my right shoulder. And I noticed a, a small piece of bone resting on the surface of the ground. And as I began to look around and scan the slope, I could see not only bits of a leg, but bits of a skull, a little piece of a jaw. And I realized right there in that noonday sun that what I had literally stumbled across was most of an entire skeleton. Here was the skeleton of a creature that looked like it could walk like us, but with many ape-like features. The ape that stood up, it was a revolutionary idea. It was a revolutionary idea, all right. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be a missing link, though Johansson still claims it is. Lucy has been restored in museums around the world to look like a human ancestor. She's usually given uh, a sort of an ape-like face and a human-like body, human hands, human feet. The truth is that um, Lucy's bones are actually those of an extinct arboreal ape. Many uh, anthropologists who've examined osteopathic remains have come to the conclusion that it's nothing more than an extinct ape. The knee joint would hint that Lucy was human. But what the evolutionists don't tell you is that the knee joint was found about a mile away and almost 200 feet deeper than the other bones. That means the knee belonged to another creature, a human, while the rest of the bones were from an extinct ape. For it to be a missing link, fossils would have to show that the intermediate creatures had the capacity to make tools and walk erect, quality humans possess. Yet no such fossils have ever been found. Walking upright is something that only humans can do, and it needs a special kind of knee joint. One that can be locked straight. A chimp gets around on all fours. If it tries to walk upright, its knee joint doesn't lock. It's forced to walk with a bent leg, and that's tiring. So the evolutionist has to somehow find an animal that has at least the uh, latent capacity to make tools, to walk erect, and uh, a relatively uh, large brain. But at this point, you must be thinking, what about all those displays at the museums? The pictures of an ape gradually becoming upright, like a man. I've seen those with my own eyes. Even though museums around the world show displays of half-men, half-apes as the missing links, they aren't real. Like here at London's Natural History Museum. Listen to Dr. Chris Stringer, a paleoanthropologist at the museum. We think that humans separated from apes about five million years ago, although there is not fossil evidence of that period of separation. Although there is not fossil evidence of that period of separation. Scientists and artists who support evolution continue to dupe the public with imaginary drawings showing ape-like figures turning into humans. They make up hair color, skin tones, and facial expressions from no more than a tooth, a piece of bone, or even no evidence at all. The fact is, there is clear evidence of apes, and there is clear evidence of human beings, but no one has ever found an ape man. Workers in the field have, over the past hundred years, provided lots of missing links, or uh, have offered us um, lots of skeletons as being missing links. What's happened in every case is that once the, uh, the headlines have died down after the announcement of discovery, serious researchers have investigated the, the finds and they've found that either the fossil in question was an extinct ape or it was an extinct human. And there's more fraud and error. Nebraska man and his entire family were reconstructed from a single tooth, from an extinct pig. 
One so-called ape-man discovery, called Piltdown Man, passed as authentic for 44 years before experts discovered it was a fraud. It turns out someone had taken the skull of a human and combined it with the jaw of an ape, an orangutan, then filed down its teeth and artificially colored the whole thing with chemicals to make it look older. Anthropologists first said it was 500,000 years old. But when they tested the discovery years later, they found the jawbone actually belonged to an ape who had died 50 years earlier. Once researchers really investigated the facts, they found that the fossils were either an ape or a human, or an outright fraud, but no missing links. Like the fossil remains dubbed Homo habilis, here's what Dr. Stringer, an evolutionist, has to say about it. Yes, habilis is a problem taxon. I think there are at least two species represented. And creationists agree. Homo habilis was made up of at least two, if not more, different groups that do not belong together. It was a, a, an assemblage of, of several different types of animals put together and made into one. Homo erectus, or Java man, isn't a half man, half ape either. The man who discovered it admitted before he died that it was a fraud. He confessed that he had found an ape skull about 50 feet away from a human leg and two human skulls and had mixed and matched to create a fictitious creature. Both creationists and evolutionists now admit Neanderthal man is a human. Scientists from Johns Hopkins University x-rayed the bones and found it was a human male stooped over from rickets or arthritis. So where are the missing links showing changes from lower life forms of apes to that of humans? They've never been found because they don't exist. More than a million species exist today. Scientists have discovered fossils from 88% of those species, but they have never found one fossil showing an intermediate species trying to change into another completely different species. But that hasn't stopped evolutionists. They've resorted to some horrifying methods of finding that non-existing link. The Australian Aborigines were once taught to be the missing links in history, and they were even listed as animals in the early 1900s in the Sydney Museum. Uh, booklet. And in fact, many people don't realize this, but scientists sent people from Germany and other parts of the world, uh, England and so on, to Australia to hunt down the Aborigines. Uh, they pay property owners money to go onto their properties, herd them over cliffs, herd them into swamps, men, women and children, shoot them, boil up their skulls, skin them, even had instructions on how to plug the bullet holes to send specimens to museums around the world because they were considered the missing links. In fact, in 1924, the New York Tribune newspaper that then existed had a headline article about the missing links found in Australia, the Australian Aborigines. Even in, in, in America's history, for instance, the United States, in 1904, a pygmy that was brought from South Africa for the World's Fair in St. Louis, at the end of the World's Fair, was taken to the Bronx Zoo, and because of the evolutionary beliefs of the director of the zoo and the explorer that brought the pygmy over from Africa, they put him in a monkey cage with an orangutan to show a relationship, a supposed relationship, to the people of America. And the pygmy in the zoo became the most popular exhibit uh, at the zoo, with Americans lining up in long lines uh, to get in to see uh, the pygmy in the zoo. The truth is, Australia's Aborigines believe they were created by God. Here's what one Aborigine told Dr. Johansson about their origins and how they've memorialized it in cave drawings. Everything he created himself. And he picked up that mud, wet, and he made one man like man and a woman. He said, all that due to woman and it make him, make him more people to fill this country. Telling you this story, what generation been start off? And you got to give, this generation give gone. Other place, other world, other world, you got to should be teach same way, why he was before us. 
truth is, the missing link between ape and man is still missing because it doesn't exist.